What is up, guys? We doubles back here with a brand new video, and today we jump back on the Tinker. And guys, this is awesome. Not only do I actually find world PvP in this video, really scratching an itch, but we finally level up the Tinker class on Dusk Haven Vanilla Plus for the first time ever, obviously. Uh, but continuing from the very first video I put out for the server way back a couple months ago, where we got to like level 20 on the Tinker, and then we moved on to other classes. So I go 20 to 60, I power level this up the last couple days and I put in something between 30 to 35 hours of actual gameplay but it ends up being something like one day and 19 hours or something like that I AFK a lot to be fair and that's why I'm saying about 30 35 hours uh, it might have been more to be real with you because honestly I didn't play that efficiently the fact of the matter is it was a crazy grind I show you every ability we get along the way we go over what's going down right now the journey what the final build is gonna look like we end off with some awesome luck and then we say we will have an episode two, so stay tuned for that. Hope you guys enjoy the video though. Let's jump right in. Okay guys, after a very, very long time, I have decided to get back on my Tinker and give it a solid try on Dust Cave in Vanilla Classic Plus, whatever you want to call it. We're going to be leveling the 60 in this video. We're going to be getting changes made to the Tinker to make it better and more fun to play. And we are going to see if we can make the Tinker work and just how it works, if it's fun, and give you guys my take on it all the way by the end of the video. As you can see, I started off my journey just getting everything ready, sending my heirloom ring over to this guy that we earned on my Druid, and then I just started questing in Red Ridge. Mild questing, just mildly killing random condors or even just, uh, you know, black dragon whelps. Just kind of getting the feel of the class, dropping my turret, using my normal abilities like scrap bullet. And what I want to do real quick is just go over everything the Tinker has at this point. Just so we can get a quick reminder on what's going down. So first and foremost, we start off with a passive ability called Master Engineer, which basically allows me to be both a goblin and a gnomish engineer with any guy that is a Tinker. In this case, only gnomes right now, but someday goblins as well when they come out. But also you get 50 increased engineering skill. There's supposed to be special tinker only stuff as well so we'll try to explore that. Now one of the very first ability combos you get is scrap bullet and also what they call electrified baton is what that's supposed to be lost in translation. I believe it's just fixed in game though when it comes to the spelling but uh, essentially scrap bullet is a regular shoot em up ability with a cast time that also increases your nature damage up to 8% and electrified baton is a melee ability that does straight nature damage and we're gonna get this buffed in my video but essentially with this is going to do is allow my next scrap bullet after using electrified baton to do 25% more damage. So you see a basic synergy right off the bat. Now we ended up getting some turrets by this time as well. Two of them, flame turret and MGX2 turret. The MGX2 turret is a shoot em up bullet turret. It's single target. The flame turret does flame damage and slows people by 20% and it's AOE. Now we also have nano booster, which is 30% of my health and my mana restored. Now when it comes to AOE, we got our first taste of that as well in the last video. Modify scrap gun and load of scrap, which is nice wordplay, right? Believe it or not for Dustcaven. Uh, modify Scrap Gun changes the mode of your character so I can't use Scrap Bullet anymore but I can use Load of Scrap when I turn Modify Scrap Gun on. Now, Load of Scrap is a short cooldown AoE spell that shreds armor by a pretty much negligible amount as far as I can tell so far. It can't be channeled while moving though. It's very, very simple to do. It's very, very weak when we first get it. However, it doesn't end up being weak with what you're about to see, so stay tuned for that. And at the end of my last video, we ended up getting our last ability for this, which is Road Roller, which is essentially a little suicide bomber tank, which you can summon, send towards your enemy, it stuns them for three seconds, and then it blows up for big damage as well. I think the damage is bigger at lower levels than it is at max, but I think it's mostly there for the stun. So with that being said, you can see I start just getting the hang of everything as I was describing before in Red Ridge, killing more Black Dragon Whelps, summoning the turrets, going for the scrap stuff, going for the electrified baton, checking out how everything is going to work and acclimating myself to it. Then we start to queue for some dungeons and that's where we're going to start off. Okay, so this is actually pretty sick. So I just got my first new ability since the original Tinker videos that I put out and that is Tesla Coil, which is a really good name, a little homage, right, to uh, a pretty amazing guy that didn't get enough credit in history. Well, 
maybe nowadays he might be, but not originally. And here's what it does. It overloads your gun with lightning, causing massive nature damage. And from what I've seen already, guys, it really is massive to your target. Now, your next load of scrap does 50% more damage as nature damage. And this can only be used while your AoE mode is active. So let me show you guys what this means. So I turn on my AoE mode, modify scrap gun. I go for a Tesla coil, long, long cast, smack him 729, and then go for this boom. First place DPS instantly. Um, this is really, really good. And the Tinker is actually starting to get really fun to me. So I'm actually starting to get really excited about leveling this guy up to max. I actually started off getting a few levels, just chilling on my own, not thinking if I was going to make a video on this or not. But I actually think it's really, really fun so far. So like I said, I say we keep going. I've got every single ability right now that I can learn all the way to max level. So I just think as we get them, I'll show you guys gameplay with them and we'll test them out and then we'll get to max and see what we can do with the Tinker. But here's another good example of what we can do with this, right? So I can go for the load of scrap, okay, into the Tesla coil, into the scrap gun. There it is. Smacked them all up. Massive damage. Okay, let's keep leveling. So I did end up getting some brand new abilities, guys, uh, after the Tesla coil, which obviously, as you guys could tell, ended up being super duper strong. First of all, I did get a brand new robot, Adrin HK. It's a pretty weird one. And what's actually kind of bad about it is that it cannot be used with my other turrets. So the way you have to use this is you cast it first, you get 5% haste for it. It apparently goes to a random player though, but if I'm solo, it goes to me. And you get that buff for 20 seconds. But for a short duration, I think it's like five-ish seconds, you can't summon any other turrets or anything like that so you still get the buff for the remainder of 15 seconds or whatever but as you can see there does come a point where you simply can't use anything else you can't road roller either by the way so your other robots are very utility based what i do like about this guy uh, is that you actually have to think before you use all of your different contraptions some people might not like this but if you really do think about it at first glance it really would be the easiest thing to do in the world for a developer to just let you summon everything at once in fact this is what i do feel like people get wrong with like necromancer type classes as well is that they say okay we're gonna give you all these ways to summon dead guys but put no limitations on it so you end up way too hard to balance crazy with a million dudes making you impossible to tap target or even click on because you're summoning all these guys i think having a structured way to summon your turrets to summon and create your robots right in the same vein as the necromancer as i was saying with the example i think that's the right way to go believe it or not so um even though it's a little weird at first very, very quickly, I began to understand that this is actually a very simple thing. But this wasn't the only new ability I got, and it's not even close to the best new ability I got either. I also ended up with another brand new ability called Machine Gun, and it's exactly what you would expect. You can't move while casting this one, thank God, but essentially it goes a little something like this. If I put down my bullet single target turret, right, and then I use Machine Gun, it goes faster, the turret does, right? It shoots faster, I hit like a truck. You can be stunned or something during that, that would be the counterplay if you're talking about PvP. When it comes to PvE, though, you're just going like crazy. You know, just shooting people with a machine gun. And it does dominate. Now, there is a caveat. You reduce your chance to hit by 50% while using it. So, you miss a lot. But, when you don't miss, you slap. And I mean slap you know what i mean so it's a big deal ability you can see that gameplay in the background as well it made killing these trolls during the bon somebody custom quest really easy and i've been here a few times you know i have like what five 60s but four of them i actually leveled because one's a dk out of all of those 60s that i actually leveled i think that all of them kind of struggled at this point you know they kind of start off strong like the monk for example i remember doing the bon somebody quest and uh i was actually having a hard time just killing the random trolls now eventually that guy got way op and strong but still that's not the the point the point is on the tinker i'm mowing down these guys like it's nothing my power level started to go up after level 25 in a way that i would have never expected and if i'm totally honest with you guys had i known that it was going to get this strong and this interesting way back a couple months ago and we all started playing on the server to begin with i would have kept playing my tinker to 60 as one of my first guys because this is starting to shape up to be something extremely fun and strong as you can see from my dps charts right here i just got done dominating with the machine gun and and uh, I was first place DPS, more damage than every other person in my group. And I'm like level, what, 34 or something right here? So it's not a joke, dude. It's actually crazy strong. What I want to do, though, keep leveling up. And as we get brand new abilities, I'll actually start recording and uh, show you guys what goes down and what they do. And we'll just keep playing all along the way. Okay, another quick new ability I can show you guys. Level 30, like 4 or 5-ish. Frost Grenade. This is literally a ranged AoE Nova. It's a Frost Nova, okay? Uh, throw a grenade, do Frost damage freeze everybody for six seconds it does seem to break rather fast compared to a traditional nova but maybe it's not maybe it's just you know how i perceive it so you can see the river crocolisk right there i'm gonna go ahead and throw it he's instantly frozen
frozen. He can't get to me. This is crazy CC, dude. And uh, then I could just start DPSing if I wanted to. So we'll go ahead and kill it. Maybe we'll see if we can do one more frost grenade. Um, okay, so we'll start doing some damage. And it's about to be off cooldown. Only a 15 second cooldown. Ridiculous. I use it again. I don't think you can interrupt that, by the way. So yeah, you can see it breaks really fast. But Frost Grenade, that's a really, really awesome addition, man. I'll take it. The next day. Okay, guys. Uh, level 43 right now. I got a couple new abilities. One of which is Tune Up, right? So my turrets go 10% faster. They attack 10% faster, that is. They do 15% more damage. Apparently, there's an ability I'm going to end up getting as a Tinker. I might already be able to get it. We'll have to go back to the bank. But it's called My Babies. What? And this enables the use of that. I feel like that's a lost in translation type of name. That's one of the cringiest things I've ever heard in my entire life. Like, I kind of get it. Like, oh, look, my little uh, tinker contraptions are my babies. But it's cringe, you know what I mean? But who knows? But, like, we'll get there. Now, I've started using some of the baseline hunter abilities as well. I have the hunter's mark. I have concussive shot on my bar. Let's just go through some of this damage, right? So I use my normal turret. I go for the machine gun. I'm going to start skyrocketing on the DPS charts. No big deal. You can see I have a cast bar on Scrap Bullet now, so I got Nox to do that. That's pretty awesome. You'll also notice, because this is a brand new day, Electrified Baton finally has its new uh, icon change, and look, it's instant cast. It's no longer an auto attack modifier. It's like Mortal Strike or uh, Crusader Strike now, which is really, really nice quality of life in my opinion, so I'm very glad I got that change as well. I was just exploring the Tinker Forum on the Dust Cave in Discord, and these guys are like not happy, to be honest with you. I can't like do a lot because I'm not a developer at the end of the day, but I hope that the tiny changes I can get done to it at least help but anyway I can go for the tune up after using the flame turret flame turret goes faster doing 300 damage on everybody per tick then it goes away it's kind of dookie compared to the other one as I've said I can go for the road roller though let's go for the aoe we'll go for a tesla coil into that aoe combo oh of course I get stunned of course but I kind of have to be close for this uh, aoe a right, tesla coil into the lotus scrap I mean it's fine I'm kind of under leveled for this right now being 43 and everybody's 46 in here But I'd say for the most part like I'm actually pumping like I actually think this will be really fun at max level DPS wise I've also got dense dynamite now So I feel like this is pretty strong just to you know include as part of my kit 400 fire damage on average I can toss this out and show you boom I mean, besides the fact that it's missing because I'm under leveled It's actually pretty good go for a tesla coil and then move on in I guess for the aoe 1100 tesla coil now let's move in load of scrap that's actually not terrible, you know? Flame cannon, tune up. Maybe go for a machine gun on this random guy. I'm actually losing right now to a guy spamming fan of knives. But he is level 53, so 10 levels on me to be completely fair. But yeah, I mean, it's going really well so far. I just have 17 more levels to go. It's been a decent grind. My plate is, let's see, uh, apparently it's one day, four hours. If you account for AFK time, I'd say it's like a good 23 hours maybe of playtime. But I actually think I'm kind of going fast. But it'll probably end up being the average, which I would say is about 30 to 35 hours to get to max level on this server. And that's actually with me using the Dread Pirate Ring as well. So that's probably why I am going a tad bit faster. Now, I've heard some scary stuff about this class at max level. Stuff like turrets not being usable and everybody just spam scrap bullet. We'll see. I'm going to talk to some tinkers and see exactly how this plays. I also know that most people go for a survival based spec with the explosive shot. So I guess we could try it. But right now I'm going beast mastery. Most of the talents are completely useless. But like I've said before, 15% more damage and like 10% more crit with my turrets. It's at least fun. Sometimes we got to go for the fun stuff, you know, over the best stuff. But ultimately, if we have to switch to survival to compete, we will. Yeah, all these guys out-level the hell out of me. Like, I can go, uh, let's see. Well, anyway, let me show you the instant cast electrified baton some more. Oh, these guys would be immune, right, when I want to show you. I do think this is a huge deal. Besides the fact that he's immune, it takes away the clunkiness so much. When you just roll up to somebody, click the ability, and you're guaranteed to have it go off. I do think people are really going to like that. These Maradon dungeons, though, are so cringe. I mean, they're absolutely cringe. Like, everything silences you, everything uh, CCs you. I mean, it's super fun the way it works. I just wish I could PvP with this, to be real with you. But I dueled a random guy. I don't even know if I have the clip for it. But I dueled a random guy on a boat earlier. He was playing a warrior. He used a new ability called Barbaric Onslaught for a 1500 when I have 2000 HP. And one-shot me from range. I was like, oh, okay, I guess that's the state of PvP. But like I said, I do think PvP changes are coming, so... Probably after the bard, if I had to guess. All right, we can go for the turret into the machine gun. Just start spamming. I missed everything. You get 50% more chance to miss. It's a little RNG based, you know? Right, electrified baton into a Tesla coil. And we'll go for the AOE as well. Drop a turret. Why not? Now, I've also noticed that even though Nano Booster doesn't say it, it does actually give you full mana when you use it. It says 30% more health, which just seem correct but it's also 100% more mana. I hope that's not a bug because it's been like pivotal so far. But yeah, ultimately to me, the best change is just giving Scrap Bullet a uh, cast bar. 
Like, the fact that I can actually see it now when I use it, it adds so much quality of life. It should have always been there. It's one of those things where I kind of wish I played Tinker earlier so I could have, like, said that. Because I've been wanting that since I started Dust Caven, you know? But I didn't play the Tinker for so long, so... Ultimately, though, Tinker's been an absolute joy to level up. Like, look at that full mana, by the way, on the Nano Booster. But it really has. Like, it's been a complete freaking joy to level up. Once I got to 25 and above, everything changed. It was no longer boring. And now that I've got all of these quality of life changes put in, even though they look minor they're really not scrap bullet electrified baton i think it just feels better to play as well all right we're about to approach the last boss can i at least come in first place dps on the last boss princess theradras single target hunter's mark on her i think most of my stuff actually scales off melee ap but some of it's off of ranged ap as well okay turrets on i didn't tune up first what a donkey what a freaking donkey dude imagine not using tune up first here it's it's, it's out it's fine scrap bullet let's go for a tesla coil Imagine, man. Tesla Coil, is it gonna miss? Oh, she's immune to all my nature. No wonder I'm doing awful. Yeah, like a lot of the stuff with this class is nature damage. A lot of it, which is good. It makes sense. Electricity, whatever, right? Yeah, I'm getting slaughtered right now because everything in this dungeon is immune to nature. We can tune up though and go for another machine gun towards the end. You can see it's shooting way faster. Like it's absolutely crazy. Okay, I'll, I'll definitely take it. It's better than nothing. We can actually go for the bracers of the stone princess. As a tinker, I can use mail now that I'm level 40. So that could be good. We'll need on that and greed on that. Do we win? Oh, we did. Okay, so at 48, we can use that. Okay, so as you can see, so far so good with the tinker. But okay, I'm gonna keep on leveling guys and I'll update you when I get more stuff. <laughs> I just got done slaughtering two guys in Tenaris, and uh, I obviously don't claim any skill on that. <laughs> like, it's just one of those things where part of what makes PvP fun to me is figuring out when my class has a power advantage, and then, uh, well, looking for PvP at that moment. I feel like that's a big part of world PvP. They were all super cool about it and stuff, no problems, right? But, like, damn, like, I was broken. The only way they could have done something is if one of their classes had a stun or a fear type effect. And it was Shaman Druid, <laughs> dude. It was the worst combination, man. I met them outside and just slaughtered them, dude. I told you guys, though, like, even on the Druid, I was at least able to go for the Frost Grenade and the Dense Dynamite into, like, some basic scrap bullet attacks. But on the Shaman, I just one-shot him with a uh, MGX2 turret and machine gun. <laughs> oh, 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 man. I'm just glad I got to experience a little bit of PvP. So big thanks to Iron, another tinker on the server. Uh, for giving me this awesome trinket, the high-powered flashlight. He said, may it light my way, and I think it will for a long time. 24 hit rating? That's actually no joke. Currently, I'm working on my engineering, by the way, guys. We are gonna max this. 365 for the tinker. I might not max it all in one go right this second, but I'm gonna get pretty close. I could easily afford it, but I just wanna craft some, uh, mithril gyro shots. And this is gonna be a huge upgrade over what I'm currently using, which are the, uh, crafted heavy shot. Wow. 10.5 more DPS, you know? So let's go for it real quick. That's gonna be, like, 300 and 20-ish engineering. I've already learned the gnomish engineering, by the way. Uh, it's so weird. Like, rocket boots are doo-doo. You want it to be an enchant. I mean, unless you're allowed to take gear off mid-combat, but for some reason, I don't think you are. But there's some interesting stuff we could play with, like, a uh, mind control cap. I don't know. We'll see long-term, you know? By the way, I also found this precisely calibrated boomstick. Talk about lucky. Super fast. 14 agi, which is, like, amazing. And it's epic, which is fun. My first epic on the guy. So, yeah, we are currently level 45. 15 more levels to go, guys. 15 more levels to go. Ho ho ho!
Oh, dude, there's a guy in the egg guild called McDouble with no S and that's not me. I just saw him type egg and I was like, yo, I'm not even upset about it. It's not my name. My name is not McDouble. You can take McDouble all you want. It's never been me. It never will be me. Dude, some guy literally PM'd me. I, I don't know like what he was doing, right? He was just like, hey, what happened to your warrior? And I didn't reply. I think I was in the middle of like a discord conversation or something. It was a real thing. But I glanced at it and I thought maybe I'm being trolled because I was like, I've never had a warrior. What are you talking about, dude? I wasn't trying to be mean or anything. Now I get what he was talking about. This dude is posing as me. Don't give him anything, dude. Dude, he's not me. 346 minutes later. All right, guys, I've just been grinding for like four or five hours. I'm not going to pretend it was the most efficient, but I do think at a certain point when it comes to a grind, you've just got to do what you can do. And sometimes that means AFK spam queuing dungeons and mild custom quests, you know, stuff like that. Level 58 right now, two more levels to go. We should be able to just about finish it out, if not fully finish it out in Hyjal. And that means we could do an Okar as soon as we hit level 60, maybe get a piece of epic gear and and then I'll uh, start testing this guy at level 60 a little bit. And I think we'll do an episode two, of course, as well. Playing the Tinker more, trying to get more gear and exploring it even further. Now, here's what I'll say. I did actually end up getting a brand new ability and it's actually a pretty cool one, but it's one of those abilities that really just makes me wish PVP was a real thing. At this point, I would actually just settle for BGs, you know? But it's right here and it's called Shield Generator on a three minute cooldown, 1.5 second cast. It says create a shield generator, which is basically anti-magic zone for DKs, right? It reduces is spell damage done to all players inside by 25%, but for only five seconds. If I'm honest with you, it's a really short duration. Maybe that could still be good in some universe. Right now, it does look a little underpowered to me. Of course, we can't know because PvP is not a real thing, but it's literally when you use it, a cast time AMZ or AMS. I guess it doesn't really matter. It's AMZ, yeah. Now we have one more ability, which is the Great Invention. I think it's just a haste buff though, sadly enough. It might do damage as well. We'll go for that. Of course, level 60 is when I get that. But for now, we do the Hyjal stuff. Now, one thing I can say, since we were actually in Hyjal in a big way, they have actually finally added a map. It's no longer blank. So as far as I'm aware, guys, they actually had to create this map from scratch. Of course, they don't have the Blizzard art team to do that so they did their best and if i'm honest with you i think it looks pretty good so i actually am pretty happy with this i'll just say it's a big plus you even see yourself on the map which honestly is the biggest deal right okay so uh felda steel claw gonna do the satyr quest first massive xp for all of this so let me show you what's going down i did go ahead and switch to the survival spec when you go to the tinker class forums on the dust cave in discord they actually have a pinned spec that all the tinkers are using it looks like this tinker community is actually pretty close knit right now so they've pretty much figured out how to play this class. So when I saw they were using a survival based spec, I switched to it and uh, I pretty quickly figured out how I was supposed to play, but they also explained it to me and it goes something like, you know, popping the black arrow, making sure you have the cursed arrow up, maybe going for a modified scrap gun into the Tesla coil, maybe into a load of scrap, turn it off into the uh, create MGX2 turret, uh, into the machine gun after using a tune up. It's a lot. It's actually a lot of setup, but once you do it, you should slap. Believe it or not, the survival tree does seem to fit the tinker the best out of all of them. Survival Instincts actually gives you 4% more crit with Scrap Bullet, Load of Scrap, and Explosive Shot, 10 Expertise, not too bad, 5% more damage with Improved Tracking, a lot more AP with Hunter vs. Wild, more Agi, and a lot of really interesting on-use abilities as well. The Black Arrow, of course, the Explosive Shot eventually, also the Wyvern Sting, as well as the Scatter Shot, all usable, which is nice. And apparently the way it's gonna work is you can lock and load, and Black Arrow allows you to keep using Explosive Shots, so there you go. So that's what we're going with, and yeah, goes a little something like this. I see a satyr skulker. I pop a turret, even though it's way out leveling me right now. I go for the machine gun and uh, you can see I'm not one shotting anymore, but I can go for the uh, baton into the scrap bullet. Keep spamming that. Go for another baton. And I do think weaving in the baton might be viable whenever you're on the scrap bullet phase now, because otherwise it was unreliable with the auto attacks. Even if you dual wield, it just acted weird before sometimes as well. Like even though you would think I'm attacking so fast, it should go off as soon as I want it every time. It didn't always work out that way. But now as soon as you press the button, it goes off. You get more scrap bullet damage. It's kind of like, why not? It's just, as I was explaining before, there are already so many things that you can do with this class to set up your burst. And then you're just waiting for that next uh, burst window when the cooldowns come back. Uh, that I wonder how much you're actually using Scrap Bullet. I said earlier in the video that I was worried about some rumors I heard about Scrap Bullet spam being the main thing. I do think I know where they were coming from in that regard, but it looks like it's a lot more cooldown based, which is basically what I figured out while doing PvP. It will be a little bit interesting, by the way. They are confirming at this point that they are going to be, oh crap, uh, doing some class- oh my god, no. Wyvern Stink. See, it actually uh, comes in handy. 
Uh, but they're confirming that they are actually going to be doing some PvP changes. And so how that's going to work with things like Tinker and DH... No way, right? Okay, cool. I actually won. I thought I might die. Uh, but how that works with, like, Tinker and DH and Melee Monk, I have no idea. Right now, the damage is way too high in Duskhaven. So, I mean, they'd have to, like, nerf all the DPS and PvP by, like, 50% and the healing. And then just start building from there internally. And then try to ship it to the live server. I just feel like it's going to take so much effort, you know? There was even this one recent post I saw on the Duskhaven forums. And I was obviously pretty perusing over there as you could tell recently and what i found really interesting about this is that they were basically calling for the abolition of world pvp anyway by the way we actually were able to talk all the way through this quest so we can go ahead and turn this in real quick but yeah just some thoughts right now like i said they are going to be making some changes to pvp so it's not completely irrelevant okay what's the next one gather six eggs okay let's go do that as you can see though the tinker is playing pretty nice i'm able to commentate and by the way not even have to use most of my stuff i rarely ever use cursed arrow and black arrow not because i forget but because it's kind of a relevant right like you use it and it's just not required for the world uh, questing stuff when i get into a boss fight in a uh, dungeon it might be usable but even then so far the boss fights have been so short i feel like i'm not gonna get anything from it that's actually significant so i'm interested to see what happens when i'm able to pop everything perfectly on an actual boss fight at max level now one final update and i'll keep questing up to 60 my engineering is 314 out of 365 i am gonna buy this to 365 real quick i think they're gonna end up being mount and stuff i think that's what's actually unique about it for the tinkers so that'll be something we maybe work on in a future video i will say on the overall though engineering has been pretty pivotal to my enjoyment of the tinker as you can see i'm at three uh dense dynamite left i have been using them the entire time it's been quite good and there's better stuff i can make so i really do like the dynamic of genuinely having this uh profession kind of almost literally tied to my class and one of the things i'm really hoping for is that when the bard comes out and you know they're doing the same thing with inscription you know i hope that inscription plays a similar role where there is something unique to the bard in that profession that is worthy of going for that's fun and integral to the class in some way that's what i'm personally hoping for because they actually did a good job of it with the tinker on the overall okay i'm going to collect more eggs guys and we're going to get to level 60 i'll see you in a bit I did it. I'm so freaking tired, dude. Literally so tired. Level 60. The last time I showed you guys this, it was during the same play session, I'm pretty sure. And I think it said one day, three hours. So I've actually, yeah, I, I don't even want to think about how long I've been playing. But at least we made it to level 60, dude. And that was the point of the video to make it to max. Let's go get our max level tinker ability now. I'll show that to you guys. And of course, we'll be making it episode two, playing the tinker at max, all that jazz. All right, first of all, we got explosive shot now as a tinker so i'll definitely take that second of all here we go my greatest invention let's go ahead and do that as well all right so we can go ahead and use this oh my god dude that's at least sick that i summon a robot man and as you can see here's what it does so for 25 seconds i get 30 percent haste wow it's exactly what I thought it was. Now, I'm sure it does decent auto attack damage as well. And it lasts a very long time. But that's pretty sick, not gonna lie. It might make uh, my channeling speeds faster as well. My cast speed. We'll test it out. But that's pretty good. Okay, now we're gonna be crafting dense blasting powder until we max out our engineering. Yo, this is all panning out really well, guys. All right, guys, let's do the customary Oakheart boss that we do after hitting 60 on every new class. And we'll just see how we do. Most of these guys are gonna have gear compared to my previous ones. But hey, all right, let's see how we do. Uh, I've never done this before, so I literally know I'm going to be doing it wrong, right? Absolutely, without a shadow of a doubt, I know I'm going to get this wrong. Tesla coil, okay. Into the uh, machine gun. I didn't tune up. I'm a freaking donkey. I always forget to tune up. Every time I forget to tune up, dude. Every time. And then I actually have to move back so I can keep using explosive shot. Oh my god, dude. 
I actually think Tinker's kind of complex now. <laughs> Just like first try, go for the tune-up explosive shot. Oh, I can keep using explosive shot actually because of the black arrow. That's actually nutty, dude. Yeah, that's what I was told. I'm remembering now. I'm remembering now. Okay, so I can go for the turret tune up into the machine gun just let it full cast right the entire time oh he's dead i just did 840 dps is that bad though when i'm using like level uh 50 40 30 26 gear you know stuff like that i don't think that's bad i think like when things were first coming out that was good i mean sure on my boomkin i like dominated but yeah i'm actually pretty happy with that for my uh, item level although i want to pull it up in the next video so that's exactly what we're gonna do let's go turn this quest in though and let's see if we get any good loot. All right, guys, let's turn in the quest and roll the dice because you know how it goes with this 50-50 on the Nightmare Seed at this point. Will we get a seed? Yes, dude, please. I needed that. I needed it because I've been up for so long straight. I needed that just sheerly for the morale, dude. You know what's cool? I was told that Machine Gun will proc stuff like this. Could be wrong, but Blaze Fury Medallion is a massive upgrade over my level 26 necklace. It's good stats as well. I say we go for it. It adds two fire damage to my melee attacks and theoretically the machine gun let's do it dude and we could put that on massive upgrade i'll take it what a great way to end the video listen guys we have plenty of stuff to do on this tinker a lot of things right so if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to give it a like and to subscribe major thanks to all the members on my channel love and appreciate you guys but i'll see all of y'all in the next one big doubles out <laughs>